Podcast, you're listening to another episode of the Bronco Breakdown. My name is Caitlin, and today I'm here with Alex. Hi. And Rachel. Hey. Today we will be talking about the best local restaurants in Barrington. Alex, why don't you start us off? Okay. Um, Shaku is a great spot to have dinner with friends, in my opinion. They have really good sushi and other food, too, like their cute little bento boxes. I would think it's more semi-formal and a bit pricey, but if you're looking for a more affordable option, Naomi Sushi is right next to Jewel and has great sushi. Um, Moretti's. Moretti's is an Italian restaurant with options for, like, pizzas, pastas, and, like, sandwiches. And they also have a bar with alcoholic drinks, which you, of course, can't drink because you're underage. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> Good one, Rachel. Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Miyataka uh-huh. is a pizza restaurant next to Starbucks. We love to go here because they have affordable options and many choices. Neoteca also has great outdoor seating if you want to enjoy the coming warm weather. Hopefully it doesn't snow in May again. <laughs> 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 Um, Egg Harbor Cafe is another great option for brunch, which is located right across the street from Jewel. It's family-friendly and has great American food options to choose from. The prices vary depending on the food option, but overall, it's pretty affordable. Southern Bells, Rachel? The competition. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Southern Bells is like another brunch restaurant similar to Egg Harbor Cafe kind of like competition kind of going on between them two but they're known for pancakes so um southern bells offers like delicious pancakes such as their cinnabon pancakes which are bomb um camp- <laughs> <laughs> they're cinnabon ah, they have camper pancakes and granny apple butter pancakes Ooh. Ooh. Not only does starbucks have great drinks but they also have food options such as sandwiches and salads it's also a great place to stop by after school with fans. <laughs> with the fans. Friends. With the friends. No way. Friends. No way. With <laughs> friends <laughs> and family for something light. Francesca's is another restaurant in Barrington, which features a rustic Italian cuisine. The food can be a bit more on the pricey side, with the range being from thirty dollars and under. However, this restaurant is perfect for pasta and other Italian cuisine lovers, and a great formal night out. Francesca's is also super popular for homecoming dinners, but like, you know, like not this year. Not this, no, year. Not this year. We not, went last year though, but yeah, not last this year. year. Not this year. Yeah. 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 And next, like, of course, everyone knows McDonald's, knows mm-hmm. and loves. It's like a bit farther from the high school than like these other restaurant options that we've been like kind of listing, but it's always worth walking or driving just a little bit farther for like some fried chicken or nuggets. Like, mmm. And they also have a drive through option, which can be great for a quick stop by. Yeah. Did you know, um, I think one of McDonald's nicknames is Macca's or Macca's. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Thanks, oh, that, that, okay, thanks. Fun fact. <laughs> um, well, another place is Ice Cream Social. It's a quaint ice cream shop located next to Francesca's. And this place features creative decor with fun artistic designs. I actually went there um, a couple days ago and it was really cool. They have a wide variety of ice cream flavors that are bound to satisfy your taste buds. Next time you're looking for something to hit that sweet spot, stop by the Ice Cream Social. Mm, That sounds good. Okay, and Chow Baby is another small little restaurant in downtown Barrington with American Italian cuisine like pastas and sandwiches and soups. So, like, stop by for a casual meal and great atmosphere. Yeah. Now I'm getting hungry. Thanks a lot, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys got... Oh, you're welcome. I hope you guys got some <laughs> ideas on where to go for your next meal. Let us know if you have any favorite restaurants in Barrington or suggestions, um, and just comment them on our Instagram at Bronco Breakdown.